Hi Capricorns, welcome, it's Cleopatra. Today is Tuesday, December 10th, and I'm here to do just a little mini reading for this week. Get some messages out there to you that need to come out. Um, also wanna let you know that I'm gonna be um, doing some free readings once a month for my subscribers, so please hit the subscribe button if you haven't hit the subscribe button, okay? I'm gonna be choosing um, one subscriber every month for a free 30 minute reading um, at the end of the month, okay? So let's get started on this. Let's just get some, clear some energy for my Capricorns. What messages do we have for our Capricorns? Let me put down here, what messages, spirit, Guides, guardian angels. What messages do we have out here for the Capricorns? I know they're probably heavy in their thoughts this week. Don't know why I'm picking that up. Picking up heavy thoughts, Capricorns. Okay. Oh. I'm making my fingers a little tingly. Okay, my Capricorns. Okay, we have a Ten of Cups. That's always a good, a good card, right? The cups is your feel, your heart card, your emotion card. We love the Ten of Cups. So, Ten of Cups um, are like a sense of completion. Um, you trusted your intuition and. It didn't fail you. This is like wholeness in a relationship. So, um, this is a good card. Let's keep going. What are you concerned with this week? We just keep going. We have the Queen of Pentacles came in, which is great. That's my... Oh, even look at that. We had the nine of cups coming in right beside that. That's awesome. So um, Capricorns, your wishes are going to be fulfilled. And then right in the middle of your love and your heart is your pentacles. We have the queen of pentacles. This is your, your um, possessions, right? And this also stands for winter. So right now you're on top of your game, it looks like. Um, it doesn't have to be really financially. It could be on top of your game with happiness emotionally. Um, the Queen of Pentacles um, lets me know that you're maintaining a healthy balance. Um, so that's good. Okay? You're maintaining a very healthy balance, Capricorns. I like to see this. This is going good. Right in the middle, we have the Six of Swords, and the Swords are your thoughts cards, right? So Six is um, a, good, a good card to have because it stands for personal growth. And this is a period of transition, which also we have the new moon coming in Gemini on Thursday the 12th. So this card definitely is for this, personal growth and leaving behind the familiar um, and, and starting new. So I, I um, definitely feel that with this card. Um, for Thursday for, with a new moon, okay? Do yourself a favor. At the, Thursday, when the new moon comes, go out in it, bask in it, recharge in it. Okay, let's see. We have a reversed star. That's a, our first major arcana card. Oh, we have uh, another cups. We have the seven of cups now. Okay. And the page of rods. Okay, so let me start a little bit backwards. Okay, we have the page of rods or the wands. And that's your soul, desire, and spiritual card. Um, so when I see the page of wands, I feel like... Um, it's time to map out a plan and make it a reality. Um, test whatever, um, you know, you've got thinking in your head and your spiritual, your soul. It's time to do it. 
or it's time to make a plan. Um, with the star here in reverse, this is a major arcana card. With a star, when I see the star reversed, um, I think that's that there's some kind of um, inspirational block. Okay, um, you're having some kind of inspirational block. Uh, with the seven of cups here, you know that's the cups are your your heart, your emotion, your feelings cards, and we have the seven. So. It's time to make a decision. You have overwhelming choices here with, with all this, the cups being full. So it's time to make a decision. Um, so you gotta think about what's causing your emotional blockage here with the star being in reverse. Um, and maybe it's a new way of thinking because that's what I have with the page of rods is, is, is ha test your ideas and make it a new way. Map out a plan, make it a reality. But you have to get um, you have to get this blockage. You're 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 being blocked. You're you, the star upright means it's you're guided. Um, it, but right now it's blocked, so something's blocking you. Hmm. Maybe it's an old way of thinking. Okay, maybe it's an old way of thinking. <clears throat> I think 2020 is really going to be a great year for you, um, Capricorns. Um, for the people that are not really into um, the internet, uh, well, like, the internet is taking over. Oh, of course, we all know that. Um, but I think for some of you, you're still stuck in old ways of thinking with your business, with, um, with certain things. And I think that um, and it's time to change and get a fresh way of thinking. Um, I can't put my, my thumb on it exactly for everybody, but um, it's time to, to make the transition over to, um, to, you know, new and upcoming things that are happening in the world. And uh, I think you're being blocked because you're not wanting to learn new things. You're not feeling comfortable with learning new ways of, of like, say, for instance, um, some people not, might not know how to work their phones well or might not have to work their computer well, and it's blocking them. Or um, they're still doing business in an old way, and it's time to step the game up. Um, it's time to step the game up. And social media is, of course... <clears throat> where it's at. So a lot of people are being scared um, to step up their game. Uh, but I think that um, the Seven of Cups here is letting you know that you, ha you have a lot of choices. There's a lot of choices, so you need to change. You need to make a plan, change your way of thinking. Okay? Let's keep going here. My... Okay, my Capricorn... Look, right under that, Six of Swords, we have the Five of Swords. So that's kind of what I was saying. Um, choose your battles wisely here, okay? Stop being stuck in old ways of doing things. It's time to open your mind up and learn something new. Okay, because you're going to feel defeated. With the Five of Swords means defeat. So don't, don't feel defeated. Just start going with the flow. Get rid of your negative thoughts in your head. The swords are your thoughts cards. Get rid of those thoughts. Okay? Change your thoughts. Change your reality. It's my, it's my favorite, um, you know, my favorite, one of my favorite sayings. So um, don't be scared. Don't fear. Fear, we all know, is, is a blocker. It blocks us. That could be what's happening with the star being reversed. You're having blockage because of your fear. You're scared. <clears throat> Fear is false evidence appearing real. Okay, so the, get the worry out. See, look it up here. Look at your cups. You're feeling completion. You're, you're, you, you know what you're doing. It's just time to change your way of thinking. Okay. The world is moving on. We need to move on with it, and don't be scared to move on with the world. Okay. Let's see. We have the Page of Cups. So we have a lot of cups um, going on with you right now. A lot of heart feeling cards. So 
we have the page of cups here and the page is um, you're gonna receive some pleasant news this week upcoming week you're gonna receive some pleasant news you see so stop get rid of the worry get rid of the swords you have some good news coming up and when you get that news don't be scared it's gonna be um, it's gonna be something that you're uncomfortable with doing I can tell already on this side okay you're gonna be uncomfortable with this but remember um, being uncomfortable when you need to evolve, you have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable, right? That's growth. You gotta get comfortable with being uncomfortable. But you're gonna get great news, okay? I'm gonna do one more. Okay, we have a reverse swords okay we have a reversed four of swords but it came in reversed so our swords are your thoughts right and isn't that crazy how all the swords came right down so a reversed four um is telling me that someone or something is preventing much needed rest you need to rest you need emotional rest and i think it's your fear of um of learning something new or doing something new <clears throat> so I'm going to tell you to put that at ease. It's just fear. Nothing is going to change. So let that fear go. That's you're not sleeping, you're not getting rest because of that, okay? Look at all the cups, the completion. You're having balance. Later at the end of the week or maybe towards the end of the year, you're going to have a lot of opportunities come your way and you're you're blocking your own self because of fear. Okay, so I can't wait to hear about this good news. When you get the good news, let me know, okay? Leave me a comment. Let me know. Okay. Have a good week. Please hit the subscribe button. Um, and I do do private readings. Um, it's in the uh, subscription description box. It's tarotsecrets2020 at yahoo.com. You can leave me a um, an email or, or a message through here, okay? Have a great rest of the week. Talk to you soon or hear from you soon.